how can you explain to the rest of your business your char- you're paying 20% more to deliver it if you could welcome to the first episode of our circularity first podcast um what are we call in this one mike welcome to rf what do you think most people think of when we when we talk about rf it's remanufactured but what does that mean what do most people think about when they hear the words remanufactured I think like it's a blanket sort of used, at least sold once. And I, th- I think like the idea that everyone has got the same perception of that is changed a lot. So um, mm. I've been dealing with RF for 10 plus years now and the perception has changed a lot. Mm. Maybe our uh, founder, Anthony Levy, has got a, a lot to do with that, of just keeping talking to people about that. But mm. Yeah, it's it's changed a lot and it's like everyone still understands and it, it is like has been sold once and it goes from there. So everyone's perception may vary from the correct to the incorrect, from good to bad to inaccurate within that. Would the people that aren't qu- quite sure what remanufactured means, what are they thinking? What do they think what do they think it means? I think they mean think it means used, pulled out and handed to them. Yeah. I think I th- I think that's what it means. It, it's come out of a live network at some point, potentially been sat on a shelf, and then that's what's available. Um, so it's more like when when the words remanufactured pop up, it's like in some people's minds, it's refurbished or secondhand, basically. I I think it doesn't help that all all the all the terms start with re. Yeah, no. So this is the sort of blend together: the refresh, remanufactured, refurbished. Yeah, doesn't help. All blend together in people's minds, or rather, so, so rather than having a distinct thing, but mm. we used all just sort of clump together in people's minds and go together. And we're and like separating those apart in the last 10 years, a lot of people have come around to it. And it's and then it's and then maybe business problem, business reasons more than adversity to the product have affected their choices not to use it or to use it mm. than other mm. things. So what what do we actually mean when we talk about remanufactured? What's what does it mean? And this, specifically in the Cisco case, it's a sold to device, a device which has been sold at least once previously as new, and then has come back to the manufacturer. In this case, we normally talk about Cisco, and then been repaired if if needed, and then to the to the same standard as new, brought up. To the same standards as new, including sort of software changes, any minor hardware changes which are on newer releases of the hardware, mm-hmm. and and those kind of things. So, if you were to take one off the shelf and plug it in next to a new one, they should be indistinguishable from each other. And this is because it goes through a remanufacturing process that is done by the manufacturer. In this case, Cisco. If it was done by anyone else, you couldn't. Yeah. It's got to be done by the original. Manufactured so, so to be remanufactured. So that's the big difference between remanufactured and refurbished. I guess is the other is well, the one down from that. I think officially remanufactured. Yeah, I think you could you could somebody could be doing the exact same things, mm. um, but you wouldn't get that stamp. And then then what effectively you normally slide into is refurbished, which is yeah. more like checking is it broken and tidying it up. Mm. It would like so that's more in terms of like what you see with you're buying a phone from CXE on the high street. Mm. And then they sort of like, they will clean it, maybe maybe replace the screen, maybe they'll replace the back and then yeah. and wipe what's on there. Forget what's inside. Rather, rather, than doing, rather than doing, so I don't know if they're doing sort of major up, but that's, that's sort of what more what re- refurbishing is in line with rather than anything official from the manufacturer. So can you, on that note, what is the remanufacturing process compared to refurbish? I mean, you've touched on the refurbish being let's make it shiny and polish it up, but and clear the factory, you know, clear it to factory default. But that's kind of and maybe fix something. But what's that compared to a remanufactured? What's what more goes into it? Officially replacing components. So if something is going to need to be replaced because oh, it only runs a certain amount of time. On the old handsets, like on the old phone handsets, it used to be like a whole replacement of the casing for, mm. like, sort of mainly, I believe, hygiene, hygiene reasons. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, and then updating the software. So, and also things like if there's revisions within a program, often 
products will have minor versions within a product which you don't see while ordering but like the new if you just order a new one you get what the new thing is mm. and that is aligns with the refurbished so on so, on old ASAs they change the they change the standard memory at one point mm. so things That's like thing. things like hardware variations or versions so i imagine if a uh, product's coming back to be remanufactured then they will make sure that the certain let's say certain components that needed to be replaced um they would do that by default yeah yeah i i th- i think it's just to get them to the point that they would be indistinguishable from new yeah or well, i've many times i've been asked can you get me one which wasn't used mm. And the answer is no, because they, they aren't filed in that way. And it's sort of like, if we're having this conversation, I fail to explain it, or you don't accept the explanation, because if you're not accepting that it will be like new, uh, there's no reason to insist on having one which hasn't been used. Because mm. it's kind of irrelevant asking the question, I want one that hasn't been used. It makes no difference. It's been remanufactured um, to the same standard as if you bought a new one. So why are you asking me that? Yeah, and on that, I suppose that, that that's almost, we need to go back to education. It's a sort of, uh, but I suppose people, customers don't want to have to be a hit. Like, if, if, like, if you start a uh, conversation on technology with the educate, it's not on education of other program. It's maybe not that much fun for customers. <laughs> so just, um, so it's just about convincing them that we're, that remanufactured is as good as new, basically, is in, in a nutshell. Yeah, but I, I would still say that's not, as widely raised as it used to be. Sustainability is obviously a current and hot topic and has been for years. I suppose that all sort of filters into trusting these words called like remanufactured from the vendor, um, you know, sustainable IT. It's this kind of terminology that people are getting used to and accepting. So therefore remanufactured isn't such a confusing word possibly. Yeah, I think it's still seeping through the businesses to the back end on to IT in terms of sustainability. When people think sustainability about their business, they think the thing they produce mm. and maybe travel. I would say the thing, the things they use and produce ra- and travel rather than necessarily the equipment they're running their business like on, mm. as in. If you are a restaurant, you might like, if you're a takeaway thing, you you think about food and cups. You don't necessarily think about the IT, all your services to to, to make that happen, to make the business happen run on. Mm. Because I think they're, they're your sort of biz one. It's, it's, if you change those, they're going to have a bigger impact. Because um, those, if those are the core of your business and then, the people who have been assigned to change sustainability haven't been looking at IT yet. The people who run IT, it's a very specialist knowledge area. Maybe others the business aren't willing to step on. Mm. Somebody says, I need this, I need this to be new. Another of the business might not be able to tell them no. I'm going to give you a scenario. Um, I've got a small to medium business, 200 employees, a, a big room with my network in, and I'm looking to upgrade it. Um, why should I choose remanufactured? I think honestly that answer just like changes throughout the business. If you you're if you're in charge of IT, it's about meeting budgets. If you look to the other perspective of like remanufactured is going to be cheaper. It's that's that's the design that they know why you would pick it over new. Mm. And until like sustainability, like until sustainability is a real driver for people, that's going to be the case. So then you're going, okay, I've got a budget, and if you can do it new within budget, I suppose you like. How can you explain to the rest of your business? You're char- you're paying twenty percent more to deliver it if you could. Mm. And I think what I've suggested to like people who have gone is like, don't think of it as in your project think of it as trying to get more out of your budget mm. you're thinking what else well i can deliver it it's like yeah yeah but there's like everyone i think at the, at the end of a project goes you you compromise and maybe you don't have to make quite as many compromises realistically mm. if you've already like i know i know when people get budget set at the beginning of the year uh past the ways lots of businesses work is gone i've i've already costed for this so I've costed two hundred fifty thousand pounds to deliver this project, and it's going to cost me that new. It's like, well, when you were thinking about it, you wanted 
premium support, but now I've settled for mm. next business day. It's like, well, you could have a higher level for that. Or I say, uh, I when setting this up, this this used to be, I see a standard is a long time ago, people delivering voice projects and they'd get sold on everything but the old sort of core magic could do and some add-ons into that. And then they would only pay for dial tone. Mm. So like, it's like, what you, the, you paying for the same amount of the equipment, but you need an expert to set it up. And they were like, it's not like they were, they were flush with them around the country. There was like, so you, you'd have to go, you, there was no chance of a small business, like a medium sized business having one in house. So they'd have to get a consultant in mm. and that, and it was a lot of work and they just weren't doing it. So maybe that's sort of where you like, you save 20% of your budget on, on the project and then you redeploy that to having a consultant if you if you have to spend the money and you can't like deploy it for a secondary project go how about i make sure this is all done the exactly the way i want it with all the soft like all the software choices i want yeah, yeah. and the like engineer to deliver it so that's brilliant because you so basically you're saying remanufacture versus new is you get exactly this you get the same product it's same warranty same support plus you can get extra support because you've saved on the cost of the product itself no brainer isn't it mate yes Good. Right, catch you at the next one.